Growing up in El Salvador, when I was young, there was a war that was going on. And as time went by, my dad was the one who watched me and raised me. I asked him where my mom went and he said that he didn't know and that she moved to the United States. As the war continued to get worse and the guerrilla welfare continued to get worse as well, my dad didn't know what to do and And when I was around 10 years old, my mom came back to El Salvador. She tried to convince my family to move with her to the United States, but I didn't want to leave my dad because he was my number one priority. And when I turned 18, my grandma was very worried about El Salvador's war and it continuing to get worse, along with all the challenges I may face as a deaf person in El Salvador. She wanted to try to convince me to move to the United States with my mom. So my grandma talked my mom into telling us to move back to El Salvador. So she flew back to El Salvador and we finally, after discussing it, decided to move back to America with her. When I first got to the United States, I really missed El Salvador and the environment of my family and friends and the deaf culture that I had there. But I stuck it out and now I have a daughter and son and I am married. It worked out in the end.